Welcome to the lesson that will give a little more depth on Google Drive. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to Google and sign in to your Google account if you haven't done so already. So I'm going to click on the sign in option. I'm going to type in the student number, whatever that is, and you're going to follow it with at ASD20.org. You would then type in your password. Once you're logged in, go ahead and go to the Google Apps in the upper right corner and choose Drive. You should have already completed the Organize video, so you should have nothing but folders at this time to be really organized in your Google Drive. Now you're going to create a folder for whatever class you're in. If you're in sixth grade, you would type in sixth grade. If you're in seventh, it would be seventh and so forth. As you can see, I have a sixth grade folder and a seventh grade folder. So I'm going in as if I'm an eighth grader, so I will choose new, folder and I will type in 8th grade. Be sure to put your correct grade level. I'm going to right click and I'm going to recolor it. As you recall, you should have made a folder on your desktop called computer design and you have several folders in there. If you wanted to get everything on your desktop into your drive, you can open up that grade level folder. You could choose new folder and you can type in computer design create and of course I'm going to right click and recolor it because I like to do that. I'm going to open that computer design and you recall the names of the folder on your desktop. I know there is an images so I'll do new folder and type in images. I'm going to open up images and now to get the images off your desktop into this folder you could do new file upload. You would then go to that computer design folder, choose images and grab those images and choose open. I just want one so I'll go ahead and choose open and now it's in your drive. Now that was the more involved way to get things from your desktop into your drive. I'm going to go back to my drive, go into 8th grade. I'm going to delete that folder by hitting the delete key after I select it. What I could have done is I could have made this a little smaller and I could drag and drop that entire folder into my drive. Now when I open it, you should see everything. You should see the images and anything that you had on your desktop. That is the fastest way to get things into your drive. So while I'm in my grade folder, I will right click. I'm going to change the color. If your teacher in language arts gives you an assignment and you want to store it, you're definitely going to want to choose new folder and you're going to type in language arts and store everything for that class in that folder. Again, I can't stress enough how important it is to stay organized with named folders. I want to stress one of the most important things about Google Drive is you can go home and you can download projects you're working on at school and you can work on them on your computer at home and then re-upload them to your drive so that you can work on it at school. Let me show you how that works. So let's just imagine that you go home right now. You're logged into your Google account and you want to work on a project. So you go to your drive and in this case I'm in eighth grade. I'm going to go to eighth grade and I'm working on computer design PowerPoint and I'm going to go ahead and download that cool images PowerPoint. So I'll right click and choose download. Now I'm using Google Chrome at this time so notice in the bottom left corner of your screen if you choose show in folder there's the cool images. I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose cut and I'm going to go ahead and paste it on my desktop at home. Now I'm at home so I'm going to open up that cool images. Wow, she has a clean desktop at home too. I hope yours is looking that good. While at home I will go ahead and type in a title cool images and I'll put my name and I'm going to go ahead and start adding things to the slide. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the home tab new slide and I'm just going to add a blank slide. I'm going to go find a cool image to add to my PowerPoint. So I found a fun photo. I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose copy image. And I'm going to go back to PowerPoint and I'm going to do control V to paste that image. And it's a little big so I need to make it smaller for my slide. I'll go ahead and choose save or you can do control S to save and it's saved on your desktop. So now I'll go ahead and close that out. There's my presentation that's been updated. And now I'm going to go back to my Google Drive. I'm going to choose new file upload. Now keep in mind I'm still at home. I'm going to my desktop. I'm going to select cool images. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Now notice the little message. This is new which is awesome. 
that blue message it says if you upload a file that matches the name of an existing file Drive will add it as a new version instead of creating a duplicate. It used to create a duplicate so this is much better. I want it to overwrite the old one because it's more current. So I'm going to choose got it. Now if I go ahead and open it for preview you should see the changes to the PowerPoint. Now on my home computer I will delete that cool images on my desktop to keep it clean. Besides, it's in my Google Drive, safe and sound. This concludes the session on how to be a little more organized in your Google Drive. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.